the headlines. In Gaza, daily pauses in the fighting and new routes to safer areas are agreed by Israel and the US as the war continues. Some of the millions in Gaza enduring the Israeli bombardment share their diaries of the deteriorating conditions. The Home Secretary in the UK claims police in London are more tolerant of some protesters than others ahead of a planned pro-Palestinian march on Saturday. And a jury in New York awards a former personal assistant to the actor Robert De Niro $1.2 million. Myanmar's president, who was installed after a coup in 2021, says the country is in danger of breaking apart if the government can't control fighting on the border with China. The warning was issued at an emergency meeting after insurgents overran dozens of army posts, capturing roads and border crossings. The Vatican has announced that transgender people can be baptised in the Catholic Church, as long as it doesn't cause scandal or, quote, confusion. The church's doctrinal office also said trans people could be godparents at a baptism and witnesses at a wedding. It follows attempts by Pope Francis to make the church more welcoming to LGBT people. The authorities in Ghana are searching for those responsible for cutting down a 300-year-old tree, which was widely considered to be sacred. The kola tree was chopped down with a machete in the early hours of Tuesday morning by unknown perpetrators. It dates back to the Ashanti Kingdom, part of modern-day Ghana. Many local people believe the black and white seeds could cure ailments and curses. Back on the red carpet, Hollywood celebrates the end of the longest actor strike in its history. And a U.S. chat show host ruffles a few feathers in New Zealand. We'll find out why. Good morning. The agony is finally over for Luis Diaz. He hears that his father has been freed by Colombian kidnappers just hours before he plays for Liverpool in the Europa League. Medical history is made as surgeons complete the world's first entire eye transplant. Drone footage from Japan has captured a rare moment when a volcanic erupt eruption gives birth to a new island. The unnamed undersea volcano started its latest eruptions on 21st October. Earlier this month, the island measured roughly 100 metres in diameter and was as, hi as high as 20 metres above the sea. That's all we have time for. Thanks for watching.